All right, in today's video, we are going to set up a note flight account, which is the music notation software that we're going to be using in this lesson. And we're going to talk about some basic ways for you to create your musical examples. So the first thing you'll want to do is to go to noteflight.com and you should see a screen that looks like this in the top right hand corner. You're going to want to choose sign up and you'll get um, the sign up menu that asks for your email address and then for a, a password that you create. Uh, once you've done this, uh, you'll need to check the email that you used and uh, you'll get a verification code uh, for your new account. Uh, once you've done this, you'll come back to the same screen and instead of sign up, we're going to choose login and I will just log into my account here quickly and choose login and you should see a screen that looks similar to this except you won't have all these pieces that I have in my account because I've been creating music there. Uh, yours will be blank here basically but up in the top left hand corner you want to choose new score and when you choose new score you're going to get a, a new screen uh, and we want to choose start from a blank score if that's not already chosen and then look for treble clef. So you would make sure that's highlighted. Mine's already highlighted because that's the last thing I did. It could be that piano's highlighted or some other choice, probably piano because it's at the top. But really for this lesson, we just want to use treble clef. So choose that, click OK, and a treble clef comes up. Before we even get started, uh, one thing that's really important in this lesson so that you can share your work with your teacher is to look up in the right hand corner here uh, just next to your photo if you've uploaded one in your account um, and choose connect and you will want to choose change right now it says only you have access to this score so even if you share the link with someone they'll, they'll not be able to open it so we're going to choose change select everyone and we just want them to be able to view which is fine and you can leave everything else the way it is click save that goes away but still in the same window we now want to choose the share icon like you see in so many social media sites now that's here and that will give you uh, a link that you can copy and paste in an email or upload uh, depending on how your teacher would like for you to share that information with them. But once they have this link, they will be able to look at your uh, musical masterpiece uh, using this link. So once you've done that, you should be set to go. Okay, a couple of things about getting around in NoteFlight. It's very user-friendly. As you'll notice across the top of the screen, uh, we have duration of notes. So if you have any background in music at all, you know whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. You actually can go further. For this uh, exercise, I probably would, would not use anything smaller than an eighth note. Uh, you certainly can do that, um, but particularly for a first time out of trying this, probably using half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes are going to be your best bet. Um, you can change the pitch using the sharps, flats, or natural signs. Again, for, for this um, lesson, I probably would not do that but keep it simple. So what we're going to do is in the first measure here at the beginning of the music, right now we see all rests. If you click on the first rest, it, it changes colors and is now orange. If you move over to the left of that, you'll notice that we start to see a note head. And really, as you move the, the mouse up or down, um, it will determine where you're going to put the, the note. For this exercise, again, we would choose middle C or third space C. Um, it, it just make doing the exercise easier for everyone, and it'll keep us, for those of you that are musicians, it'll basically keep us in the key of C. So if you take a look at this, the note, the note is now there, but the note head is orange. Um, you can continue to add notes um, just by using your mouse if you would like and you can change durations just by coming back up to the top left. Let's say we want to change this second note to eighth notes. You could do that and then come back in to create different notes. So you can do all that with your mouse. 
The nice thing about this program is uh, much like the uh, word processing programs that you use, Control Z or Command Z on the Mac will undo things that you've done. So really we can come right back to starting that first note. Um, also, Control C uh, will copy, Control V will paste, and Control X will cut and paste. So you can also do those things. A shortcut that I like to use is once I've created my first note, um, you can just hit the R key. And when you do that, it will repeat whatever you already have. If you want to change that note, the, the name of that note or the pitch of that note, you can use your up and down arrows on your keyboard to move the note up or down. So it's easy enough to do that. If you want to change the duration of the note, you still can do that. Again, I like to use the, the R key. Now I have another eighth note, and I can move the note again with my up and down arrows. Let's say I go to the next I hit R again, but I don't really want another eighth note. Now I want a half note. Um, so I get that here. And now I have a complete measure. Um, if I wanted to do something similar to this measure in the next measure, I can click in the measure, but not on a specific note. And the entire measure is highlighted. Now if I hit the R key, it's going to repeat the entire measure. So I get the same thing again. And while the entire measure is highlighted, I can actually move all of the notes up or down with the arrow key. So let's say I want exactly the same thing, but just a little lower. Here it is. Now, you may or may not want to do that. To get out of this, you would use the escape key on your keyboard or just click out of the measure. Um, let's say I want to keep that rhythm, but I want to change up the, the um, actual pitches just a bit something like this um, you know you, you can you can manipulate it any way you want to and what I encourage you to do is um, now click away again and so nothing's highlighted um, but now you can go back up to the top of the screen and listen to the couple of measures that you've created if you like that great you can keep it um, if you want to change something you can go back in Maybe I want that note to be one note higher and this note to be one note higher. So if you want to move anything, you just click it. It's highlighted. You move it up or down, change the rhythm, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then we can go back and play it again. Just sounds a little more final in that case. Uh, but again, the, the whole idea is for you to explore and create a two measure melody that you like. And then basically what we're going to do is manipulate it in different ways if you follow the instructions in the, in the um, handout to actually take these two measures and change them uh, either across the y-axis or across the x-axis. So I hope you have fun and good luck.